Vimlafaxine is a medication that belongs to the class of antidepressants. It is used to treat depression and classified as an SNRI, serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. However, it has a number of other clinical uses. It can be used in a variety of anxiety disorders. It can be used in the treatment of social anxiety disorder for people who have phobias or fear towards social situations. It can also be used for treating panic disorder. In such people, anxiety is associated with a few physical symptoms like rapid heartbeats, rapid breathing, tremors, and sweating. Vimlafaxine is also indicated for generalized anxiety disorder, for people having anxiety without any known reason. Apart from these approved clinical indications, Vimlafaxine can also be given to you as an off-label indication. You may be given Vimlafaxine for treating neuropathic pain. It is a neuronal disorder that elicits pain due to damage in the neurons. Vimlafaxine can also be given to control hot flashes in people taking hormonal therapy. It is also used in people with attention deficit disorders. Even though it works in a similar way in all these conditions, the dosage, frequency, and how long it is used may be different. For example, in the treatment of hot flashes, Vimlafaxine may be used up to 12 weeks. However, for treating depression and anxiety, it may be used for the long term until symptoms are completely relieved. Therefore, it is highly essential to know about Vinlafaxine before use. In this video, let's talk about Vinlafaxine, like how to take this medication, how it works, what is its effect on blood pressure, when to avoid it, and what are common side effects. Before that, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get updates on more interesting videos. Please share this video with your friends and family. All right, now let's go to this topic without any delay. How it works. Vimlafaxine can elevate the levels of a few chemicals in your brain that relieve symptoms of depression and anxiety. It is a medication belonging to a group of antidepressants called SNRIs. These are the medications that act as serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. Vimlafaxine is such a medication that inhibits uptake of these chemicals into the neurons in your brain. Normally, a few neurons in your brain can release neurotransmitters like norepinephrine and serotonin. However, their action is limited by their reuptake back into the neurons from where they are released. To achieve this action, specialized transporters exist on these neurons. Through these transporters, serotonin and norepinephrine are taken back into the neurons. This is a protective mechanism to control their levels in the brain. However, in people with depression, low levels of these chemicals worsen the symptoms. In such people, vimlafaxine can be given to improve their levels. It blocks these reuptake transporters, which results in increased levels of these chemicals at the neuronal junctions. This improves the symptoms of both depression and anxiety. However, it may take a few weeks to show the full beneficial effects of vimlafaxine. How to take this medication? You can get vimlafaxine tablets in two variants, immediate release tablets and extended release tablets. It is also available as extended release capsules. In all these dosage forms, Vinlafaxine exists as its salt hydrochloride. Immediate release tablets are available in different strengths, starting from 25 mg to 100 mg. On the other hand, extended release tablets are available in four strengths, from 37.5 mg to 225 mg. These two types of dosage forms are not equivalent and differ in the rate of drug release. Vimlafaxine is slowly released from extended release tablets. Therefore, they need to be taken less frequently than immediate release tablets. Extended release tablets are taken once a day. However, immediate release tablets can be taken either twice daily or once a day. In treating anxiety disorders, extended release tablets are more preferred. Therefore, check the label of tablets before taking and never replace them with one another. Particularly, Vimlafaxine hydrochloride tablets are available in 37.5 mg strength in both variants. You may need to take 37.5 mg of immediate release tablets two times a day. However, 37.5 mg extended release tablets are to be taken once a day. You can also have vinlafaxine in the form of another salt, vinlafaxine besylate. This is available as extended release tablets at a strength of 112.5 mg. However, these tablets should not be used in initial therapy. Dosage of vinlafaxine is variable on many factors. 
Even though the target is high, it should always be started at a very low dose to minimize side effects. Therefore, never start venlafaxine at higher doses than recommended. Since the dose used is variable in individuals based on their age and indication, always follow the dose and frequency as suggested by your doctor. For treating depression, it can be started at a dose of 75 mg per day. It can be given in divided doses. You may be given 25 mg immediate release tablets three times a day or 37.5 mg immediate release tablets two times a day. In both the cases, the net dose is 75 mg per day. You may also be given extended release tablets at an initial dose of 37.5 to 75 mg per day. However, remember that these tablets are intended to be taken once a day. The dose can be increased every four days to achieve a target dose of 225 mg per day given in divided doses. However, in severe cases, it may be increased to 375 mg per day. For treating anxiety disorders, venlafaxine can be used initially in a dose range of 37.5 to 75 mg per day. Extended release tablets are used for this purpose to deliver the action for the entire day. Therefore, they should be taken once a day. You should take venlafaxine tablets with food to reduce side effects. They shouldn't be crushed or chewed. Side effects Many of the side effects produced by venlafaxine are observed on initial days. They are mild and may slowly disappear on continuous use. However, the extent of side effects may not be equal in all people, and a few may have significant side effects. Typically, it can make you feel dizzy and cause sleepiness. However, you may not have a good sleep, and trouble sleeping can be observed. You can have dry mouth and excess sweating. Taking plenty of fluids and wearing loose clothes may minimize these effects. You may also have nausea, headaches, and constipation. Venlafaxine can cause a loss of appetite. However, significant weight loss may not be observed in all people. On long-term use, venlafaxine can cause abnormal ejaculation and reduce sexual desire. Withdrawal symptoms. Never stop this medication suddenly, especially if you are at higher doses. Sudden stopping of usage may bring a few withdrawal symptoms. You may have dizziness, headaches, trouble sleeping, anxiety, agitation, numbness in hands and feet, and tremors. Since this medication relieves symptoms of anxiety, sudden withdrawal may worsen the condition. Therefore, always gradually reduce the dose over a few weeks to minimize these side effects. Risk of glaucoma. Venlafaxine can cause dilation of your pupils. This may not be troublesome in normal individuals, but in people with any abnormality in eye structure that reduces drainage of fluids in the eye, it may result in angle closure glaucoma. Therefore, be cautious if you observe any increased pain or pressure in the eye. Effect on blood pressure. Venlafaxine may increase your blood pressure. Both systolic and diastolic blood pressure may be elevated. Therefore, monitor your blood pressure regularly while taking venlafaxine and observe how much rise in blood pressure was observed with use of this medication. The risk may be more pronounced if you have pre-existing hypertension. Therefore, if you observe an elevation in your blood pressure for a longer time than earlier, your doctor may reduce your dose. Abnormal bleeding. Venlafaxine may slightly increase the risk of bleeding. This may be more important when you're taking medications like aspirin or other anticoagulants like warfarin. Use of NSAIDs may also increase the risk. Therefore, never combine such medications without consulting your doctor. Abnormal thinking. Just like many antidepressants, venlafaxine can induce abnormal thoughts and suicidal behavior. It is particularly more pronounced in young and adolescent people under the age of 24. In such people, caution should be taken to monitor any changes in mood and behavior. When to avoid. Use of venlafaxine is contraindicated in a few people who have a risk of developing serious side effects. In people with existing heart problems, this medication can increase heartbeats and even elevate blood pressure. Therefore, in such people, venlafaxine is not recommended. Using venlafaxine in pregnant women a few months before delivery may cause a few adverse effects in newborns. It can also increase the risk of bleeding after delivery. Therefore, in pregnant women, or women liable to become pregnant in a few months, use of venlafaxine is generally not recommended. In people with narrow-angle glaucoma, again, this medication should be avoided. Venlafaxine can increase the risk of seizure tendency. Therefore, in people with a previous history of epilepsy, it is not preferred. 
If you observe any allergic reactions like skin rashes and swelling, use of Venlafaxine should be avoided. These are the important things that you should know before using Venlafaxine. That's all guys. Thanks for watching this video. Share your experience and how it works for you in the comment section below. Have a great day.